Hey everybody, um, I wanted to make a video to help you out if your delivery of your uh, pieces were really was really a rough delivery, and some of them came out chipped. Where's the mic? The camera. There we go. Like that. Um, instead of paying money to ship them and get them fixed and wait a long time, I thought I'd make a, a quick and easy video of how to fix it yourself in like two seconds. Um, all you need are, is some acrylic paint. Um, I have Mars Black. Any any black will do, but that's just exactly what I used. Mars Black and uh, Cerulean Blue. Um, I'll put down the companies if you want to know exactly what it was. Um, but I'll show you. There's, there's two different ways you can fix it. They're both crazy easy. Um, the first one... I'm going to use a little bit of the blue first, which means, and with this, I barely use any paint because it's so thick. It would, it would like, it would be way too, uh, it'd build up way too much. So I'm going to have a wet brush, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of blue, and I'm just going to use, like, I just have this old gum container because it's plastic. I'm just going to stir it up so it's a, a, the tiniest bit watered down. I don't want it to be too watered down, but the paint is so intensely pure. So I just took a tiny bit of a wet brush and stirred it up. And let's do it. Here's one I just roughed it up with like a stick, I like kept digging it until it got real bad. So here's one that's really roughed up. You could tell I make a lot of videos, not. So here's, it's all roughed up. I'll take the blue first, and I never want to soak it, because these were cooked in a campfire and they probably didn't reach 2000 degrees to fire them all away. So I just put on enough to make it covered and I just let that dry and it should dry pretty fast but I'm gonna let that dry while I show the other method so that's step one and there's one more step to it after that um, so I'm gonna rinse my brush out while that's drying I'll show you the one step method that's even faster uh, where's the other one here's one that's got the edges banged off so I'm going to get a wet brush and a little bit of the Mars Black. Just a tiny bit of wet Mars Black. And, I'll, and you need to have like a tissue where I have a paper napkin here. So I'm just going to brush over just the white parts that we get on the camera here. So I'm just going to go like here, here, here. And then I'm just going to wipe it away gently with a tissue. And what it does is it wipes away the extra paint, but it leaves the paint on the exposed parts. It soaks into the exposed parts and dries. And so you have an acrylic cover. So here's some more little white scratches. They're very small. So I run black over the whole thing. But we want to see the blue, so I gently wipe it away, and the black stays behind in the cracks. So it just makes it look more old and beat up. That's all there is to it. That might be the easiest way. There's a little scratch on that side, so I put the slightest amount. I'm like barely touching it with the brush. And you wipe it all, you wipe away the extra black, and it looks awesome. That's really all there is to it. So some of you might love to just do this and fix it up yourself in like two seconds using some, some black acrylic. I have this big bottle, but they also sell the little black acrylic bottles like this big for like 50 cents in those craft stores. I, I, I have this for painting anyway. Um, all right, let's check on this guy. See this, this is still, oh no, it's dry. It's almost dry. So all you do after this step, if you had one that was like massacred and you really wanted to cover it with blue first, is once this is completely dry, you just do the black trick to it. And I'll 
I, I'm gonna rush this one and put black right on it. Yeah, it was too wet. But then you wipe away. There, that actually looks pretty awesome. So it's the same thing, it's just adding a layer of blue first. So either way, it works. The black, just putting the black on is the easiest. But if for some reason you wanted to know the exact blue and you wanted to put the blue down first, let it dry, and then put the black over it and wipe it off, that's how you do it. Hope that helped. Um, I'm sorry to hear that <coughs> some of the deliveries, the boxes must have gotten really shook and banged around and thrown and kicked around a little bit, it sounds like, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> anyway, have a happy new year, everybody.